We're joined now by Mitch Hanniger, a.k.a. Uh, Yonder's former locker mate. Is that true? <laughs> what is it like sharing a locker with this guy? Uh, he was cool. He came over a little quiet, but I think that Danny Valencia got you to open up a little yeah. bit, so it was good. I, did he talk good dude. a lot? He talks a lot, right? Yeah, towards the end. <laughs> towards, the end. <laughs> towards the end. <laughs> I was hitting. What happens when you hit? Yeah. You start talking. Yeah. All right, so what was it like being a teammate with this guy? It was amazing. You know, and, and that's what I wanted to ask you because when, when we were teammates, right, you had gotten hit in the face. There was a lot of yeah. things that you had gone through, and you were still grinding. You were still battling, right? And, and I felt like last year you, you put it together, right, 30-plus homers, 100-plus RBIs. What was that like for you, and how can you repeat that? For me, just staying consistent, staying on top of all my work. I think uh, the biggest part for me is just like doing everything I can on a day-to-day -day basis, not getting too far ahead. Uh, I think that's the key to success for me, and, and you know, doing everything for my body to keep myself healthy and strong. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I said, every day, take it one day at a time. Don't get, don't get your sights out too far ahead of yourself. And with that being said, you know, when we were teammates, we had those big boppers, right? We had Nelson yeah. Cruz, we had all the veterans, Felix. It was something to look forward to going to the clubhouse every day. You got guys like Julio now who are looking forward to seeing you every day and right. seeing the way you work every day. How do you help those young guys like we got helped? I think just by leading by example. I think uh, for me, the most I learned from you guys, you know, you, Danny, uh, Cano, Cruz, Kyle, was you show up to the yard every day, you be a professional, you go about your business and look to get better and look to also get your teammates better. And uh, I think nothing is better than seeing it. You right. know, you can say all the things you want, but then if you're not putting in the work, people aren't gonna, people, do his people aren't gonna take your opinion if you're not putting in the work. Right. So for me, it's like show up every morning, be the first one here, do all my stuff and, and lead by example. How important was it for those young guys on that run down the stretch last year to be part of that, where you're playing meaningful games in September? I mean, I think we all got a good taste of uh, hopefully what ba playoff baseball feels like in, in Seattle. And uh, that was that was most fun I've ever had, you know, that last weekend and, and leading up to that whole month of September. And I think the the valuable experience they gained from there, the playing meaningful baseball is, is really important. And I think um, moving forward, especially this year, it's really gonna help us. Let's talk hitting a little bit, because, you know, we would spend a lot of time in the cage. When do you know you're locked in here? I think when everything feels nice and easy. Right. I think you've heard guys talk about, I feel like I'm like sleeping in the box and everything feels easy. So trying to recreate that feel. And uh, for me, like I said, making sure I'm on top of my body, making sure everything's feeling good, moving right and feeling strong. And then I know I can go take that into a game and feel mm -hmm. nice and easy. And, and then usually the ball's jumping when, when that's happening. Yeah, we hear the names Lewis and Kelnick and obviously Julio Rodriguez, and we're all excited about it. But you've been around for a while now. You've seen young, talented players. We don't know how good they can be. Do you know how good these guys can be? I don't think so yet. I mean, it's pretty impressive watching them, so I'm excited to play alongside these guys and, uh, and see what they can do over a 162-game season.